One in every 8,192 Pokemon are supposed to be shiny, which means that it's possible most people have never even realized how much of a glow up Charizard can have, as well as Garchomp, who gets a little sunburnt. I decided that I wanted a nice, relaxing stream and beating Pokemon Soul Silver with only shiny Pokemon, which is essentially asking, hey, Alpharad, can you watch paint dry? So to not blow all of my brains out, we increase the probabilities to one in 2048, since that's just half of the modern shiny odds. So now imagine how shockingly lucky it would be if I found a shiny Pokemon on my first try. Tigurita, Totodile, Cyndaquil. Okay, so you would see a shiny if it was right there. So now you see what we're doing today. Personally, I've never seen the appeal of shiny hunting before. So you could say that this is truly my first venture in watching grass grow. Since I knew this was gonna take a while, we slapped a timer on screen. So even you at home can see how much time I wasted. But I feel like this is the one. I just got that something within me telling me that this is the one. But what if it was? It's not, but what if it was? So I am going to be trying very, very hard to make the stream sound interesting to you because it was really just a lot of flashing colors that probably required an epilepsy warning combined with the ramblings of a man who has nothing better to do. What about that Pokemon thumbnail, Jacob? Yeah, I put furry porn in, in a Pokemon thumbnail. What do, you, what do you want me to elaborate on that? You clicked on it. <laughs> like, what are you projecting here? <laughs> but then what made me stop tweeting Megalovania was when Toby Fox followed me on Twitter.com. Cause then it was like, every time I tweet, I have to think about what would Toby Fox think? I've actually had a couple conversations with Toby Fox and I think my most recent one is my favorite. Cause you know, like I use Dating Start in all of my sponsored videos and whatnot. And now a lot of the sponsors are like getting wise that I don't own the rights to the song. So I know that you don't normally do this, but can I buy a license for Dating Start so I can use it? And then he just said like, Sorry, we don't normally do stuff like that, but I will say the compositions are online and everything I use to make the songs are just public domain. You can find them anywhere. So if you were to go recreate the song one to one and make it sound the exact same, then you can just tell NordVPN that you made it yourself. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Look, you might not need a VPN today, but eventually you will. And when you do, I hope you check out nordvpn.com slash alpharad. Once I was locked outside of my YouTube channel on vacation and needed to upload, so I used NordVPN to make YouTube think I was back home. One time I wanted to watch Avatar before it was added to American Netflix, so I used NordVPN to make that happen. And if I'm ever out in public trying to connect to random Wi-Fi servers, I always use NordVPN on my phone just so I can protect my privacy anywhere. My point is that when this day comes for you, you're gonna wish you were protected like me. And if you want in on this today, my link of nordvpn.com slash alpharide will get you a discounted rate on a two-year deal. So you'll always be covered whenever you'll need it when you least expect it. So thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and thanks to you for supporting them support me. They've been a long-term sponsor of the channel and I appreciate it, they'd appreciate it, and they help create the content you like watching. So be sure to check out nordvpn.com com slash alpha red after an hour we switched to pokemon heart gold in hopes of having better luck i know it didn't really change anything but i was hoping for the same energy shift as reading a fortune cookie that's vaguely applicable however this run became a whole lot more bearable when my good friend jaden stopped by because well she also didn't have anything better to do casual shiny hunting is nice says captain kid uh that's your own opinion. This shit sucks. <laughs> Viewers are up. It's probably the most active I've been in like talking to chat. So I guess that is the appeal. I see it. I just don't want to do it again. <clears throat> he says 90 minutes into a run that to be honest, hasn't even started yet. You know, as a kid, when you had to make up your own fun to not go absolutely insane, this felt like one of those moments because not even two hours have passed and Jaden and I decided to attempt a rock, paper, scissors, nut lock. <laughs> Uh, Jane, hold up, hold up, come here. Okay, you can't use paper anymore. Come okay. here. Oh, okay. I thought I just died. No, 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 you just can't use paper anymore. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, paper's gone for both of us. Alright, okay. No, no, it does. You can still go scissors. I, well, if I go scissors, I lose. No matter, even if you go scissors. <laughs> So after a controversial detour in three whole hours, fate 
finally smiled upon me. Uh, Chikorita, I guess. And since the first two gems are essentially Chikorita Shame Kinks, I actually contemplated re-rolling for another shiny, but wasn't really willing to risk another three hours for it, but hey, who knows? Oh, and something I do in all these challenge runs is just name Pokemon after my most recent sub. So hey, who knows? Maybe even you could be a shiny Chikorita one day like our good friend, Silly Willy. But after clashing with our rival's non-shiny Cyndaquil, we had to report everything we saw to Professor Elm and identify that dirty thief. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the antithesis of shinies? Who hates shinies? Mud. Mud? His name's Mud. Mud. <laughs> You're right. That's it's the opposite of shiny. It's the opposite of shiny. His name's Mud. <laughs> and just like that, our journey has officially begun. Three hours later. So given that I didn't want to throw Chikorita to the wolves against Faulkner, I decided that without overleveling or using any battle items, I'd realistically need another Pokemon to withstand the flight of demons. But first, I had to take a quick bathroom break and hand the controller over to Jade to see what kind of magic the unluckiest person I've ever met could accomplish. People are saying, hi, Jaden animations. <laughs> oh, I, I, I gotta click my button. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Hello everyone, what do, what do you want to talk about? I have no idea how anyone streams because like, my mind is like... <gasps> I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching anything! Well, I did my job, so... <laughs> yeah, we got him. I don't, I don't want to talk too loudly because I, I want it to be... What? What are you... What the fuck?! <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Needless to say, I was a bit surprised. As nice as it was to be reunited with Babu, two Pokemon who are weak to the flying gym. That really solved our problem. So with a team of exclusively grass Pokemon, I shiny hunted a little bit more before ultimately getting bored and just decided to stiff arm the first gym until something inevitably worked out. Oh, he saw the kill. Yeah, that's true. But if you missed that gust, Oh, poison damage, though. Poison? No. Wait, wait, okay. Me being in kill range was the correct decision. In any other timeline, they roost if they didn't see the kill. Oh my god, I'm, an, I'm a genius, actually. <laughs> actually, I'm a genius. After making it through Union Cave and murdering Hiker Anthony in broad daylight, we made our way to Azalea Town. I did my typical ritual of shiny hunting for about 10 minutes all before giving up and decided to try to progress the plot anyways. Well, when it came down to either the bug type gym or a trainer named Mud, it felt difficult. Dare I say, just not very fun. So I swallowed my pride and attempted to hunt one more shiny who could helpfully solve this impossible riddle. And so it begins. <gasps> what the, oh my god, look, they're matching. They're matching another grass Pokemon for our journey. So maybe one in 2000 is a bit of a problem. Yeah, we're going to take this free Zubat, sure, but I'm going to bump the shiny odds back to a modern one in 4096. Why? Because I hate myself. And since I know people will ask, no, the Togepi wasn't shiny. But with Ninpok the Zubat, hopefully she could be exactly what I needed to conquer these two trainers who are immune to our green little grass types. Oh, and I know that I told you the shiny odds were modified, but I might have forgotten to tell my Twitch chat. So on the next stream, I unfortunately had to break the news to them. I, I am sorry to admit. Wait, I need sadder music. Uh... Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, um, but something happened yesterday, and I know what we were all thinking. Wow, he sure does seem to be catching shinies very quickly. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because I cheated. I sacrificed the dignity of this run 
so it would go a little bit faster. But who cares? It made better content anyways. The second day started out with navigating through the forest before reaching Goldenrod right before struggling on Whitney, like all people do. No, no, we hit these. We hit these every single time. Not affected by the allegation. Fuck. Thank God this wasn't a Nuzlocke because after six whole attempts, our skeleton crew somehow pulled through. But the main reason I chose Johto for this run is that they just have so many stationary Pokemon to shiny hunt. And even though I thought Sudowoodoo would be the next best choice, I regrettably learned about a potential shiny Dratini in the Goldenrod game corner alongside the mystical madness of a little game called Voltorb Flip. Oh, oh, okay. It's kind of like a Sudoku rule where it... Um, I see. Oh, oh, okay. So I see the strategy. This... I promise you, this guy does not know what the fuck he's doing. Okay, so this has six points, but only one Voltorb, and it's right there. Okay. Luckily, someone on the internet who's wasted even more time than me put together a Voltorb Flip solver. Yet, given the amount of luck required to win this game, the solver was far from perfect and ultimately required you to abuse save states. Ooh, that's... Not again! Oh my fucking god! So, uh, fun fact, the hotkey to do that does something else entirely if you're tabbed into Google Chrome. Not again! And if you listen carefully, no, this is not the first time that's happened. Look, I know, but- What do you mean, Jacob? This is my friend! Just because she has her ass out in a 2B cosplay doesn't mean she's less of my friend. Luckily, she found it funny, and it's not like she's gonna be surprised that the internet thinks she has a fat ass. That bit took up more time than I expected. So, I just decided to abuse safe states even harder and rob the Goldenrod game corner of everything they had. I think that could be a 2. <gasps> oh, that, was, that was close. That was dangerous. Very risky stuff there. Mmm... Uh, so given the diagonal rule of oak, it's probably going to be a two here, uh-huh, of course. And then if we snake that to the three and then the two, that's good, that's good. But then we hit the fork in the row, which means that there's going to be a two here and a two here. And then if we go down the river and through the woods, there should be a two here. And coming back to the diagonal rule, it should be here, but of course, it's the bridge rule of Terabithia. Um, but if we skip over the forest, we get a two, and I think that's it? Oh! <laughs> okay. So after saving up enough money for five whole astratinis, the farm has officially begun. This whole section was filled with just me talking about life, advice for smaller creators, and even a deep dive through my earliest documented videos. That's right, my nuts. So at the eight hour mark, I felt like I was finally starting to go insane. I mean, statistically speaking, we could be seeing this shiny dr uh, dratini any second now. Statistically speaking, of course, who knows that's actually going to happen? Probably not. My odds should be better than ever before by collecting Dratini in bunches, and if you want to watch the full insanity, hey, here you go. Sociopaths. And as I'm writing the script and going back through the footage, I am witnessing things I genuinely don't remember. I was completely sober, don't get me wrong, but somehow I wasn't? I'll do what it takes. Look, I was desperate for the pink worm and was willing to temporarily believe in every form of superstition imaginable alongside my good friend Miku. Do you think we can find a pink Dratini? Okay, I said, do you think we can find a pink Dratini? Oh my god, you can't find good help anywhere these days. Eventually, this person on screen who is not me in the slightest decided it would be a good idea to manipulate the colors of the stream. It's shiny, guys! So, how about we just fast forward to, uh... Where'd my save go? And we're back! So, how about we just fast forward to the next... Not very good, not very good. This run dead. This run sucks. Yeah, so mentally, I could have been doing better. So how about we fast forward to... Uh, ho, 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 ho. The pink worm! The pink worm is real! It really wasn't that bad at all now that I think about it, since all it took was just the longest four hours of my life! And then I got to take out my anger on Sudowoodo, which somehow felt appropriate. So we took our new Dratini onward to Ecritique, but not until we gave him the proper nickname of Shmoopy, the elusive pink worm. With a party of four Pokemon, you'd probably think that I could just move on and play the game. <laughs> 
Well, I did for a little bit. I murdered our rival, witnessed a few dogs, and acquired a fourth gym badge. Which, unfortunately, triggers an event where Bill can give us a free Eevee, and I think you see where this is going. We don't need this on our team, but Shiny Umbreon is just really cool. These streams are filled with moments where I have to fill space with anything and everything that comes to my head, because everything you're looking at isn't very interesting. So while talking about my mommy issues and media that can make me cry, that's not even the most fucked up episode in BoJack, but just for me specifically, that fucked me up. That was such an ins- And that somehow happened in 10 minutes. So maybe these two balance each other out? Uh, for my own mental health, that's what I'm gonna go with. So with Mech Sage Blue joining our team, all we had to do was max out our friendship through copious amounts of drugs and evolve him into a blue and beloved Umbreon. Whoa! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So I guess we'll just take the crow back for now. Is it just me or does he look kind of naked? And Babu too. Since we have five unique and shiny Pokemon in our party, we only needed one additional hero to round out a full and complete team. So I embarked on an impossible quest to shiny hunt one of Johto's most impossible captures, Red Gyarados. Chat? Chat? What if? Magikarp? Oh, okay, okay. Magikarp? Oh, that was so close. That could have been a shiny, guys. Guys! Guys! Wait, I have a good feeling about this one. <gasps> oh, guys! Oh my god! <laughs> Chat! Shiny Gyarados! Oh my god! And that was my impersonation of literally anybody else on this godforsaken website trying to shiny hunt. Wow, alright. First try too. Okay, it's time to send out the payout. 87% of you thought we were going to find a shiny Gyarados. Some of you were right. But not all. Not all of you were right. <laughs> After this, Lance and his gross orange Dragonite warned us about the bad guys being bad. So we just let them. Then I evolved Eevee into this beautiful Umbreon and trekked over towards Olivine City. So now that we have a full team, <laughs> This shiny only run kind of turns into a perfectly normal playthrough at this point. Cause like we fight Chuck, get the medicine, fight Jasmine, fight Team Rocket, fight Price, and then fight Team Rocket. But again, I don't know what you're expecting for the rest of the video, but we really do just play Pokemon here. Yeah, we fight Claire and her blue worms, but then it's like, oh, Somehow we have all eight badges. Surely this could be the end, but given that face on the box, what if it was red? Realize though, there is a chance. It is just as likely this time as any other time for us to just get shiny Lugia right off the bat. That makes sense. All right. Everyone grab a snack, grab a drink and strap in. Cause we got we got a whole day ahead of us. If you thought Dratini was bad, if you thought Chikorita was bad, you have not seen anything until I show you the out of context highlights of shiny hunting Lugia. I don't think we could ever catch Lugia with a regular Pokeball. I mean, we can try. All right, well, we got our answer. Oh my God, look at Lugia go. Holy shit. I'm gonna have a seizure from all these resets. Look, there. what else do you want me to do? You want me to go at normal speed? I don't think so. Oh, guys, big reveal. Yo! Oh my god, thank you for the 10 gifted subs! Oh, you know what that means. Anyone feel like trauma dumping and getting banned for it? Normally I'm like pretty a cab and everything, but I was like, you know what? When it comes down to Waffle House, anime stores are probably all fronts for cocaine, if you think about it. He called me the Bleach Bandit, by the way, which was just really mean. I don't want to keep doing this. I want to finish Johto, but I don't want to do Lugia. I'm fuck this, we're done. Lugia dies tonight. This thing is getting fucking shot between the eyes. So kids, let this be a lesson. A negative and pessimistic attitude really goes a long way. Do I kill it? <laughs> of course, now that we have seven shiny Pokemon, it was time to dump our starter as we never really wanted them anyways. I kind of forgot going into it, but apparently Johto's Victory Road is essentially a glorified walk. No trainers, no encounters, just a lovely stroll before the final rival fight where something that I thought was genuinely impossible happened.
What? But that's the opposite of Mud. <laughs> um, I'd like to point out that after that happened, Mud said, seems it wasn't just luck that's gotten you this far. Yes, we slightly modified the shiny odds, but it should not have affected the trainers, right? I'll be honest and say that I have no idea what happened here, but this dude, me, was flabbergasted. If you've played Pokemon before, you know that the Elite Four is the finale where runs like this normally end. But if you've played Johto before, you know that conquering Lance and his disgusting peasant dragons is merely just the beginning. You have to watch the credits, fight eight new gym leaders all across the Kanto region, maybe even sneak in a shiny Mewtwo while you're at it, and perhaps add an extra mod along the way. Because you know that this run truly ends only after you make it atop Mount Silver and face off against the strongest trainer in Pokemon history, Red. All right, the Pikachu. This is, wait, what Pokemon is this again? I have to think for a second. Volt Tackle. It might hurt a little bit. Ooh, ooh, wait, we, we get hit here. Oh shit. Okay, we should've just done that. Yeah, Light Ball's terrifying. What the fuck? Yeah, and we have Thunderbolt and Rock Climb. We do have Rock Climb. Okay, yeah, that's just an Oko. Holy shit. Uh, I need to hit one of those. I should've gone for the Toxic. All right, that's fine. This shouldn't kill Snorlax, but it might. Oh, it does. It's plus two Gyarados. What am I talking about? I think we kill everything else in Gyarados. Oh, low damage roll. Oh, Gyarados would have destroyed everything else. Come on, Mewtwo. High special attack, high special attack. Okay, that's good. Uh, we just have to be faster and hit Psychic. Uh, Stab, super high special attack. This could Oko. This could absolutely Oko. Oh, I uh, okay, okay, Venusaur down. And now it's just Surf Lugia. No, 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 Babu is losing HP on purpose because now it's all gonna be recoil. Oh, that's so smart. Good job, Babu. Look at all that damage Babu dealt. No, we're good, we're golden actually. Master tactician of Babu, this was all planned. All planned, because now watch, low enough HP for ancient power, just kills. All thanks to Babu. And that's red. And just like that, 20 hours with copious amounts of speed ups, and I conquered a children's game in the slowest way imaginable. So, would I do it again? Eh, probably not.